Hey there, Kelly Mank, Executive Director of BNI Maine. This week, I want to talk a little bit about one of my planning strategies that I do every single year, typically the end of October, early November, and it really helps me plan for an absolutely fantastic year ahead. And that, if you haven't already guessed, is a SWOT analysis. Have you ever done a SWOT analysis for your company or with your employees? These can be a lot of fun. It can open up a lot of doors. It can kind of bring your attention to a lot of things that maybe you're not thinking about all the time. Well, I like to break SWOT analysis down not only for each company and one in my personal life, but I also like to break them down uh, sometimes even by employee or by specific role or even different departments, right? Like the marketing department, the finance department, production. So let's talk a little bit about why I'm doing this for a weekly tip. You can break down a SWOT analysis for your BNI membership. And it's powerful. And it's only for you. Nobody's ever going to ask you for this. So my recommendation, go to Google, type in SWOT analysis if you've never heard of it, and do a little research on what each of the four quadrants means. So SWOT stands for Strengths, Weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So when I'm filling it out for my BNI membership, I look at strengths. You know, what am I really good at as a BNI member, as a leader? Uh, am I really good at my presentations? Is it my weekly presentations versus my feature presentations? Am I really great at setting up the perfect referrals? Am I really great at organizing events that get the members excited and out of the traditional 90-minute meeting? Am I really good at my one-to-ones? And I have spot-on one-to-ones. I get so much out of them. I'm not wasting any time. What are my strengths? Then I move on to my weaknesses. And this one can be a little bit more difficult because you got to sit there and look at it like, okay, what am I not so great at? What are my weaknesses? What are my points that maybe just, they're not my things, right? So maybe it's coming up with a specific referral request. Maybe it is your weekly presentations or public speaking. Maybe it's inspiring members to um, do better, be better, being just an, an, an inspiration person versus a telling person. Um, maybe it's getting to the meeting on time. You know, the, this can be broken down so far and can help you so much but you really need to take it inside and be honest with yourself. Then you wanna look at opportunities. This is the best category. This is my most favorite spot because where can I be better? This is really the category that plans most of my next year. So what are my opportunities? If I'm only doing one one-to-one -one a week, should I try to do six a month? Maybe that'll be an extra one in two weeks out of the month. Am I asking for a specific referral request? Are my stories really good and precise? Um, when I show up, am I owning the room, right? Am I, do I look like I have it together that, you know, the day is mine? When I do my weekly presentations, do people understand what I'm saying? When I'm passing referrals, are they good referrals? Have I warmed them up enough? Have I done everything I can do to set my other member up for success? When I'm following up with referrals, am I making the person who sent me that referral look amazing? Because remember, for somebody to send you a referral, they have to be willing to put their reputation on you. That's a big deal. Remember that. Am I doing everything I can to make them look good? Where are my opportunities? And then lastly, threats. The biggest threat I've ever come up with is self-sabotage. Self-sabotage is by far the hardest thing. I'm not good at this. I can't do this. I don't have time for this. Those are really hard things. I'm not good at asking for a specific referral. Um, and sometimes they're even excuses that make us feel better. So where are the threats in your BNI membership that are going to make it so you don't hit the level of success that you're looking for next year? Not like what are the threats as far as what if somebody comes in with a close category to mine or what if my chapter 
you know, adds a few members or loses a few members and I'm kind of forgotten about, like not those type of threats. Threats as in what am I, it's, it's hard to explain and it really does come down to like that self-sabotage thing when you're looking at it from your BNI membership. But what are the biggest threats to myself to not hit success? Do I not know what a great client is for my company right now because I'm still in that phase of taking anything and everything? That's a big threat. Am I not quite sure of my pricing structure and I don't know if I'm doing a great job? That's a big threat. So really look at this. Go on to Google. Download a SWOT analysis. And if you're like me, you're going to probably do one for your whole company, maybe some of your employees. Even ask your employees to do them, to do them for themselves or for their role inside your organization. You're going to learn a lot about not only who they are, but where they can go and where they can help bring your company. I find SWOT analysis to be one of the reasons that we have been super successful in business. That is all I have for you this week. I really hope uh, that you do a SWOT analysis, not only for your business, but also for your BNI membership. And I'd love to hear about them. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you so much and happy networking.